Hi, I want to show you this Frogbow solar panel tester in case this is something you're interested in getting. This is model FB673PV. Uh, the brand did send this to me for review, full disclosure, but everything in this video is my own opinion. So I have it connected up to the solar panel behind me. It's sunny out. This is a 385 watt bifacial solar panel. And let me show you some of the information that you get uh, with this screen. Oh, I should also point out that there's no battery in here. You don't have to change any batteries. It's operating off of the power from the solar panel. And even if it's cloudy and you're not getting a whole lot, uh, it has enough um, power in here to run the LCD screen and the electronics to give you values. So it does come with these connectors. They go to MC4, which are typical coming off of a, a solar panel. So let's go through this. This is a 385 watt bifacial solar panel. And you can see at the current time of testing, this one's showing 385 watts. So basically at its full potential there, which is pretty awesome, 1000 watts per meter squared, which is what they're tested at. The voltage, maximum voltage uh, at the time of testing, 46.5. The current, maximum current at the time of testing, 8.3 amps. And then down here, you can also see open circuit voltage and you can have short circuit current. So these are all very helpful values if you want to test your solar panel uh, quickly and see what's happening. There's two buttons down here. You can do manual, which will test in three seconds. You can see it tested and the value dropped a little bit. You can also put it in auto mode with this button here and it'll test about every 15 seconds to give you different values. So for example, you can see here at the point of testing, I'm up close to 400 watts, which is a little bit over that solar panel's rating. And at any point, if I want to stop the testing, I can push the hold button, the little H icon comes up and everything just pauses so I can read the values. And I'll push this to complete the hold and it'll go back to auto testing. So down here, you can see it has a 60 volt max. So you're not gonna be able to test multiple rigid solar panels in series. Most likely you'll be over that 60 volt limit, uh, but this is meant to test sort of individual solar panels. In terms of what it comes with, it has a nice case, foam in there, instructions. And it also comes with these really high quality MC4 uh, disconnect tools or uh, reconnect tools if you're putting on your own MC4 connectors to the, uh, the PV wires. So that's nice that they come with that. These connections to MC4 come with the whole unit and it's easier to disassemble everything or put it back together. You get MC4 on one end. So for example, here's from the solar panel and these are waterproof connections. If you're not familiar with MC4, you just click them in and then I would click in this one and then the values will start to pop up. So hopefully this has been a helpful look at this Frogbro solar panel tester.